Greetings, people of YouTube. Welcome to another Ye Olde Battle Reps Mordheim Battle Report. And this one is going to be a skirmish between my Witch Hunters and Dan's Reekland army, or Warband rather. So they're both kind of shooting heavy. And Dan has got this awesome new board, which is um, 4x4. And where'd you get it from, Dan? It's got on eBay. I can't remember what they called. It's in, in gaming, I think they were called. Cool. It's a really nice looking, um, like a mouse pad type material. Uh, but it's 4x4, four four, so perfect for Mordheim. Um, we kind of need some different scenery now without so much grass on it, um, which will look amazing. So we'll introduce our warbands and then we'll get on with the battle. Okay, so here are my witch hunters. This is their second battle. Um, my witch hunter captain, Captain Thorn, who has a crossbow, a hammer, helmet, sword. This one is Mortis, who has two hammers and I bought a crossbow last time. Dana, crossbow and hammer. And my last witch hunter, this would be Helm, um, crossbow and hammer as well. I haven't bought my helmet yet. Uh, a warrior priest who, <coughs> what does he have? Um, healing hand and some other spell that's kind of useless. Um, but he learned healing hand last time. Then I've got three flagellants. Um, I do have three flagellant models, but I did bring the third one that I bought after the last battle. So I'm borrowing this Empire guy. Um, one zealot, because one of them died. Um, and he's just got uh, two daggers and a bow. And then I've got three warhounds, which are the metal rail parter models, which look pretty awesome. My Reikland, Weakland, Reikland. We, we'll call them Weakland, Reikland. Yeah. My Reikland warband includes my Grunvard, my mercenary captain. He's got heavy armour now, a helmet, two pistols and a sword. I've got my champion, Reikart, he's got double-handed weapon and a sword and an old battle wound, which I can't remember what that does, but we'll find out. <laughs> I've then got two young bloods. Uh, neither of them have leveled up yet. Oh no, one of them's got the guy with the halberd, he's got one plus strength. And the other guy has got a free dagger and a sword. He's got to step aside as well, so he's pretty hard to take down in combat now. This guy is my henchman, Trigger, who got... Lad's got talent last time. So he's now got... He's got his blunderbuss still. He's also got a free dagger and a sword and plus one strength. String section. My marksman, they've all got, got bows, but they've also got free dagger and sword now. I was able to buy them more swords. And they've got plus one ballistic skills. They've got skill five now. Oh, they start with skill four. Whoa. Start four because they're right clean, right yeah. to start on plus one. Yeah. And then I've got the clubbers, which is three warriors. They've all got a club, hammer, mace, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. A sword each. And they've all got plus one leadership. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we've set up. Dan had to deploy his... No, he had to choose a side, so he's gone over this side. And um, set up his whole army first. So he's got some bowmen over there, I think. Blunderbuss guy, some more bowmen. Uh, I guess that's like your leader there, isn't it? Yeah. And then the clubbers. So, so then there's a, a, a two clubbers okay. and a young blood with a halberd. Young blood and one clubber there in the red. Yep. Uh, so then I had the luxury of um, deploying second. So I've gone more sort of over this half of the board um, with my walls on the flank. Okay. Everyone else just basically in the line there. Um, and then we roll for the first turn, and I get the first turn. Okay, so I've moved my guys. Um, all my weapons are crossbows, so they move or fire. I haven't got any offensive spells, so basically um, I'm just stuck to this side of the board. Obviously my bulbs are a bit faster, so they're up there. And that's it, it's on to Reekland's turn. So I've done my movement. Um, these guys have basically stayed where they are. That's so they can hide all the crossbows. The guys that were here have advanced up behind this one. Those, these two um, archers are the only ones that haven't sprinted, so they might have a chance of shooting. They have sprinted up and he sprinted up. Uh, my turn, so I've moved a bit more. These, uh, the zealot and one witch hunter are coming round the side of the building. A warrior priest has made it to there. Um, the K 
captain and these two witch hunters can see over here to shoot their crossbows so they've stayed still and then the flanks come around here towards the clubbers. Okay so shooting um, these two witch hunters were just out of range they're about like 31 or 32 like 33 inches away from the guy over there but my witch hunter captain could see through that window um, to the guy that's now not that's now stunned basically I got a six to hit which is what you need which is what I needed with the hard cover and long range a six to wound which is a critical and for the type of critical I got a six so that's two wounds and plus two yeah and then my critical and uh, my my roll on the injury table was level two fuck's sake but that was ridiculously awesome to just shoot through the window yeah. basically like hit that guy in the knee <laughs> um so it just ended up that he's stunned he hasn't got a helmet or anything there you know, uh, no, 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 no. yeah so it could have been better but they were still really lucky to get him at all uh, so that's the end of my turn Right turn turn two movement. These guys have shuffled back a little bit behind the cover. Been a bit brave with these two. They sprinted around behind this cover. He sprinted around behind there. I think he's partly covered at least. That guy's moved up. He's crawled over to behind there. He's walked up and these two have just moved up here. The blunderbuss guy's walked. I'm hoping he might be able to get a shot at that guy. Summary of my shooting. Both of my archers were in range but missed. Blunderbuss guy, he had a clear shot at the zealot here, wounded, and he is now stunned. Witch Hunters again, um, I've kept my captain and these two still so that they could fire their crossbows. Um, my guy who got um, stunned is now knocked down and crawled back a bit. And the this Witch Hunter stays still so he can fire his crossbow. I got a charge off against this rear guy with one of my dogs. The other two I thought were a bit far away so I didn't try. And I've got two flagellants coming around here as well. Uh, that's it. Oh, and in here, another flagellant and warrior priest in there. Okay, so shooting first of all, everyone missed. <laughs> <laughs> everyone missed. Yeah, um, missed. I know that one person hit and didn't wound. I oh yeah, was. no, I think... The, your mercenary this... captain hit and didn't wound. Yeah. Right, okay, so most of the captain hit this guy and yet yeah, rolled a two to wound because it was obviously three plus is the worst roll ever. Um, these two both failed to hit him and then I fired back with Mortis at this archer and missed. Okay, so the dog uh, hit and obviously strength four and he threes to wound and rolled a one. Um, and then he retaliated, uh, what's he called? Right, right, uh, right Dominic. Dominic. So yeah, he's got double hand weapon. He stunned the dog, so he'll kill it next turn. Straight away, uh, yeah, straight away in combat. Yep. Uh, that's it. Right, clan turn three movement. This guy has charged this dog. These guys have come round. My mercenary captain is about to shoot this guy in the face with <laughs> two pistols. These guys have marched round. I actually want them to be slightly further back than that. I don't really want them to get shot by that guy if I can help it. That guy's got up and moved over there, he's moved over there, and he stayed where he was. So I'm just going to summarise my shooting and combat because all my archers missed, all three of them. Um, combat, this guy snapped the dog's neck, no, no problem. This guy stunned the dog, and these guys just flapped at each other like wussies because <laughs> they all missed all their attacks. <laughs> they basically went, meh, meh, <laughs> and they're stuck like that. Witch Hunters turn... Three or four. Um, this guy stood back up. Got my back line of crossbows still standing still. Um, the warrior priest and my captain have charged in against the um, Reekland captain to have that flagellant. Got a flagellant and a dog going against that great sword guy. And this, I've oh, got a flagellant, he's the unpainted guy, against his clubber. Um, that's everyone. Shooting. Uh, both of these guys do nothing. Um, I think <laughs> the, the zealot needed a, a six to hit and he got it. But then <laughs> obviously he fluffed the boon roll. Um, Dana, this uh, witch hunter, managed to take out one of the string section. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Um, the other guy missed and that's my shooting. So after combat, the um, 
Rickland captain got taken out by the warrior priest. Yep. After, well, he was knocked down by my captain, but then the warrior priest also charged and same initiative step took him out. So that was the, you know, the fight which I presumed I was going to win. Yeah. The other two well, I wasn't so sure about <laughs> didn't didn't go so well for me. My flagellant died, and the other flagellant got knocked down because he missed his attacks. So they're basically all dead now because these guys can charge in. Yep. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Turn four. So yeah, so right click movement. So these guys have all charged in on various targets. Um, two archers haven't moved. This guy's moved around here. He's facing off against this dickhead. <laughs> and he stayed where he was because he doesn't want to die. Shooting was a bit better this time. This guy unfortunately missed the mercenary captain. But this guy shot all the way through the trees. And took out the witch hunter. Took out more Hell yeah! <laughs> so combat was short and sweet because Jack had nothing to fight, so these guys just took out everything. Managed to get to take out this guy. This guy's a young blood, which is good. He got to take out on the dog, and one of the clubbers got to take out on, the, on that dog as well. Um, no, sorry, he took out a dog. He took out the, um, the flagellant. flagellant. Okay, so it's my turn. It's going pretty badly. Here's the casualties. My casualties. <laughs> Rickling casualties. Uh, I've lost all my dogs, two flagellants and a, a witch hunter. Um, but I want to see if I can get a little bit more experience for some of my heroes, maybe by killing uh, a guy or two. Um, so I, I didn't voluntarily route and I passed my leadership test. I'm just going to see how it goes really. So I've moved this guy away from the champion, is it? Yeah. So that he can't be charged. Uh, this is what I'm worried about here, because I'm not sure if they're within 8 inches. Uh, it looks pretty close. So I'm going to try and take some pot shots now anyway. And it turned out not to really be worth it, because although I had a clear shot with my captain, who's the best shot in my warband, at this guy. Um, no, we did, what did I get? I, I hit. And I rolled a the, normal one to wound. Yep, yeah, one to wound. I don't think he's wounded once yet. No. He did three every time and he's never wounded. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's bullshit is what it is. <laughs> um, and these two I had to shoot, I think, this guy. And um, they just both missed. Because I only missed three. Yep. Uh, that's it. So I'm going to see what happens to these guys if they get charged or if Dan decides to run them away. I don't know. So I did my movement and shooting. Basically, <laughs> everyone's gone to hide. This guy took a shot at the mercy captain and missed. That that's was it. his one shot. It's his one chance. His whole life is leading up to that. Right, so uh, but I wasn't going to deliberately route because uh, I could get a couple more shots off again. Uh, but unfortunately, I failed my leadership test. So the reclaim of the victors and definitely shows in the casualties as well. Yeah. It's pretty horrendous. I've never lost that many people before in a more than match. Uh, but that was an awesome game. Um, and it basically. All happened around here, basically, and um, yeah, yeah, that's when it was. I was quite surprised at how it came out. It just all fell apart, and then you had about six people all coming towards me. Yeah. Um, who then immediately <laughs> retreated behind the box here. Um, yeah, cool, good game, and um, we'll do the summary of what's happened to our armies now. <laughs>